Hello everyone. Welcome back to blah 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 blah. Uh, Danny is dead because he's not here. Uh, instead we have... Tom Kinneman. You will see him around the shop probably once in a while. Probably more and more. Um, it's a little bit hush hush but we're working on some sort of video project. Mm, actually when we we're installing the lighting um, people thought I worked here so I gave them directions to... I made a sale. Oh, nice. Yes, I did. Good. Absolutely. Well, you're going to have to do more because you'll be here more, so mm. I pull our weight. That's okay. So, yeah, say hi to Tom. You'll see him around soon. Don't be scared. I'm not anymore. Okay. Okay, go away. Ciao. Bye. So, yeah, I'm still mourning the loss of Danny. Oh, my God, he's a ghost. I'm back. And yeah. I'm here to talk about comics. Oh, yeah. He wasn't dead. He was just behind the camera. Just working so, the camera for a little bit. That's what we call good writing or lying Video making. Movie. Southern California Comics video review email, Matt Danny. How's it going? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Books. Um, I guess I'll start since I have one more than you. Oh, yeah. Jerks. Skull Kickers number 14 came Ooh. out. Crazy. Like, you know Skull Kickers. Fantasy, action, comedy romp. And with this one, you find out how uh, Baldi got his gun. And it is insane. Well, you start to find out how he got his gun. You don't really find out yet. Kinda. It it's totally insane. If you read Skull Kickers, you gotta you got to. Cool. I'm it, gonna start. It blows the lid off the whole operation. What? Busts this case wide open. Is that dangerous? Work. I don't know. I don't know. Speaking of dangerous, I don't even mind we do segues. Look, Frankenstein <laughs> Alive Alive is out. Steve Niles, Bernie Wrightson. That really should be enough to get you guys to buy it. Oh, I bet it looks amazing. Does it look yeah. amazing? Let me see if oh, it looks it's amazing. it's beautiful. It's all black and white. It's pristine. Uh, it's them at their... I'll say best. It's really good looking. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's cool. And there's a backup on the history of Frankenstein in the back. And really? if you're a horror dork like me, you'll appreciate that. This looks amazing. Yeah. Can you believe something Bernie writes in Drew looks great? Because I can. Because he's great. He's a hack, but he has his moments. I'm so sorry I said that. Hey, he drew Swamp Thing, I oh, yeah. think. Sure. Yeah, that was him. He's one of many men who drew Swamp Thing. I didn't. Oh, I guess it's my turn. Yeah. Mystery in Space came out from uh, Vertigo slash DC. It's a anthology series of sci-fi stories. It's got stuff by Andy Diggle, Ming Doyle, Mike Alred. Um, this is their third one they did? They did a... Uh... They did a... Uh, Tales something something. Tells the Unexpected? They did The Unexpected, the which unexpected. was awesome. That was cool. Um, they did another one before that. And that one started the book Spaceman. Yeah. Spun off. No, that was The that was, the Unexpected was the kind of horror-y one. There was oh, another one before yeah. that. There was another space one. Yeah, well, that started off Spaceman. Our poor memories. Anyway, yeah, it's a space anthology. It's really cool. It's really yeah. worth it. It's got a Kyle Baker story in it, too. Lots of great people making great sci-fi comics. Yeah. And you don't see those too often, so you should pick it up before yeah. it goes away. Boop. Oh, Avenging Spider-Man number seven. Avenging Spider-Man number seven. Um, this is a book I think most people don't even bother looking at. It's like an old classic Marvel team-up Yeah, it's like Spider-Man team-up. Yeah. Uh, it's real good. It's real good. This one's by uh, Stuart and Catherine Eminen. Man. Um, it's and got She-Hulk. Real She-Hulk. Not that crappy red one. The red one's good, too. But okay. Well, it's the so original good. one's also great. Yeah. And it's got kitties. <laughs> so many cats. It's so funny. It's really funny. This is probably the best book of the week. I, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, definitely my favorite of the week. Not because I have a fetish about She-Hulk. I meant Spider-Man. Oh, hurry up. Either way, you're weird. Like, green ladies, webbing. Oh, we all have a thing. Spiders, for... ew. Icky. Icky. Dan the, Dan the Unharmable. I didn't choose this just because it has my name in it. Oh, yeah. Just Unharmable Jelosevic. Um, it's by David Lapham, Lapham and uh, Raphael Ortiz. It's, I believe it's about a man who can't die. I haven't read it yet, but... Yeah, he's kind of a down-and-out guy who just barely gets by. Yeah. And I think he works for someone and has to kill people, and it's awesome the way he has to. Oh, yeah. And he finds out, like, he is unharmable. Yeah. And it's by David Lapham, so you know it's going to be sick and weird and insane. <laughs> it's going to offend you in some way that you'll want more. Oh, yeah. Not offensive. Avengers Academy. That doesn't mean it's not good. This is like my favorite Avengers book. Take that, regular Avengers book. I like Secret Avengers. Yeah, Secret Avengers is good too. I forgot about that one. But Avengers Academy is good too. I won't change my mind right now because I'll have to rethink my life. But yeah, this is basically, I like it because it's kids being superheroes. 
and they're mostly like 98% brand new characters. They're not... Yeah. They bring in some of those guys, but it's mostly new kids, and I think it's cool that this is still going. I thought this would have been canceled by issue 7. You get some, you didn't. You get some Runaways, you get some X23 in there. Yeah, Runaways, guest stars in this one. So if you like that, and haven't seen them in seven years... So, what's the difference between Avengers Academy and the Young Avengers? The Young Avengers don't exist anymore. Ha ha ha. Ouch. Damn. Too soon. Sick burn. Nice. You know what else is sick? Atomic Robo from Avatar. It is just, sick. Just kidding. Um, Atomic Robo by uh, Brian Clevenger and Scott Wagner. Always a good read. Yeah. Just fun, robot and robot fueled, science y, super heroic mm. type stuff. It's like Hellboy, but for science. And it's more lighthearted, I would assume. Yeah. It's got, oh, it's got like, real-life real, real life scientists. It's That's got... I wonder if Dr. Dinosaur is in this one. There's a evil genius raptor called Dr. Dinosaur. Yeah, I'm sold on that. I'll probably oh, yeah. buy that. Here you go. Thanks. Do I pay you, or...? No. Pay yourself, actually, because you... You know how to work the registers. Oh, yeah, okay. I just throw the money on top, and someone usually puts it away or takes it. With a little sticky note. Please put in... It's like those houses at Halloween that just say free take on, but with money in the register. But you take it all anyway. So. I should probably go fix that. Yeah, I don't know why you... Don't use the honor system when you're running a business. Ah, okay, I'm gonna go fix my life. Bye. Bye. See you later. Do I have anything to announce? Do I have any announcements? Do you? No. Free comic book oh, day yeah. was last week. Oh. <laughs> also, all Avengers trades are 15% off till the end of the month. Even this one? Even that one. Especially this one. Someone asked if Ultimates were on sale, and I gave it to him because that was sly. Good job, guy. Well, I mean, Ultimate Avengers, you know. It was Ultimates. Yeah, but still, you know. Bye! Now I'm a ghost. You're a ghost? I'm a goat. You're... what? Throw the camera away.